Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti. I'm getting some beers in at home. What I have for you today is Fat Orange Cat Baby Leprechauns. Now, every time I see a Fat Orange Cat beer, I pick it up because I just love the name Fat Orange Cat. Their beer labels are always cat-related. I'm a big cat person. Got six cats at home. Sounds crazy, I know. But so I always pick up these beers every time I see them. And this is uh, Monday, March 12th, 11th. Yeah, Mon Monday, March something or other, 11th or 12th. Over the weekend, I did a road trip. I went and visited a bunch of different breweries in Northwest Ohio and also made a little quick pit stop up to Ann Arbor, Michigan to one of my favorite beer stores. It's called The Produce Stand. And this is a little unassuming, tiny little grocery store, but it's a verified venue untapped and that's how I originally found it. And they've got an excellent beer selection. It's a lot of beers that I can't find at home. Plus right next door is Beer Camp. One of the coolest meat spots I've ever been to They've got the most excellent hot dogs. Um, I don't know how they do it. I had an elk and cheese hot dog that was absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, in my trip around to all the different breweries, I was dumb, didn't take many pictures, didn't take any videos, but you'll have that. Back to the beer. Like I said, this is Fat Orange Cat, Baby Leprechauns, bunch of cats with leprechaun hats and ties on, looking like they have a good time. Good beer to have right around St. Patrick's Day. This will probably come out the week after St. Patrick's Day, but... Who cares? I paid $4.99 for this beer. And this beer, uh, Fat Orange Cats, out of East Hampton, Connecticut. But they are part of the 12% project, which I've talked about in previous videos. I went and checked out their website. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they've uploaded or updated their website since, like, 2021. And it seems like they used to have a little spot you could go to and pick up beers and whatnot. But as of according to their website, as of 2021, they're, they're no longer open to the public, which is a shame. So this is a Session India Pale Ale, 5.9% alcohol. I couldn't find anything on the IBUs. Uh, there's nothing else really on the can other than the cool Leprechaun Cats. On Untapped, it gets a 3.92 with 2.8 thousand check-ins. And there was nothing on Beer Advocate. As soon as I opened that, I could get the big, nice, fruity hop smell. It must be spring because there's a little bug floating around the side of my glass. It's a nice big frothy head, big bubbles, big fisheye bubbles, lots and lots of large bubbles there. And you can't see through that at all. That's super hazy. I mean, that is chalk white. That's, that's a one on the SRM chart. Absolutely a one. Like I said, I got some fruity, hoppy smell to it, citrus, when I first opened it. Yeah, that's just citrus hops. Yeah, just a lot of citrus hop, almost to the point of that kind of, it makes me think it's going to be a syrupy hop beer, but it's supposed to be a Session Pale Ale, or Session India Pale Ale, so hopefully it's not super syrupy. That head is dissipating, and it's turning into like soapy bubbles, and I'm going to try to get through it and taste this beer. Cheers, everyone. Medium body, but it's light, if that makes sense. It's a medium body, but it's light. And it's some nice, juicy citrus flavors. Not very bitter. There is a little bit of bitterness to it, but it's not very bitter. And it's just like a, a citrusy, nice tasting beer. Don't notice the alcohol at all. That's easy to drink. If you're looking for a nice... Kind of fruity, citrusy beer that's easy to drink. I highly recommend this. Give a big horns up to this. Fat Orange Cat, Baby Leprechauns. Again, I love the can art. Beer's amazing. I hope you think my video's amazing. If you do, 
please go down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments. Have you had any fat orange cats? Do you own a fat orange cat? I used to have a fat orange cat. Unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago. He was a great cat, Mr. Chowder. But we shouldn't get into that. So I'm going to leave you all with Embrace the Adventure.